Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cook With Me. Today I'm making the famous Patidua recipe. Stay tuned. Okay, so as I didn't lay out my things before I started, you're going to need flour, one stick of butter, turmeric, bijal, curry, salt, milk, shortening, and sugar. I have also written my measurements on the screen. Bijal is a tasteless coloring of Latin origin, aka annatto powder. So the bijal is optional guys. You could go ahead and use egg powder for your coloring. You could also just use your curry and your turmeric and you're good. Alright, so it's time to put everything together. You want to incorporate all your seasonings into your flour before you start kneading with your butter and milk. As you see, my vegetable shortening is missing. I had put it in my freezer for a little bit. Please make sure that your butter is cold. I just chose to put my Crisco in the fridge for a while. Next step, incorporate your butter into your flour. You want to end with a crumb-like texture or as close to it as you Now guys, I have one cup of milk here. It was not enough, so when it was done, I continued with some cold water to finish my dough. I started out with one cup of water, but I ended up using about a quarter of that amount. For your dough, you don't want it to be too sticky or too hard. You're aiming for like a dumpling texture when you're done. Now you're going to wrap your dough in cling film and put it in your refrigerator for 30 minutes or overnight or as long as you want. Mine actually stayed for 45 minutes. I had actually rolled my dough and shredded some more butter and a quarter of the cup of vegetable shortening that I had into my dough. Now I'm going to roll it out As you can see guys, now I'm cutting up my patties and I'm gonna fill them with, guess what, curry goat. So this time when I was baking from this dough, I egg washed my patties. 
I didn't like the outcome so the next day I made some Aki and Saltfish patties and I butter washed them and it came out so much better. So my tip is to not egg wash but to butter glaze or wash your patties. Now I'm just going to proceed to apply my filling and show you how I got the outcome. These patties are the ones with the egg wash which I was not satisfied with. These next patties are the one with the butter wash that I am totally satisfied with guys and it's the same dough, different outcome. So as you know, comment, like, subscribe. Did you like my tip? Let me know in the comment section and see you next time. Thank you for watching.